Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this super cute ruffle shoulder bag. So I was actually looking for like cute crochet bags so I can make one for my friend but then I couldn't really find one so I was like you know what I came up with this design in the middle of the night and I was like, I have to make it because I love ruffles. They're so cute. And I love like Y2K shoulder bags. So this is perfect for me or like anyone else who's like me. And I think this makes a really cute gift. I put, I crochet her name or her nickname as well on here because it's like such a cute name. So yeah. Let's get started with the video. So the materials that we're going to be using today to make our shoulder bag is yarn, of course. Um, I think the yarn weight for the yarn I'm using right now is four. Um, you're going to need crochet hooks. So um, I'm using a six millimeter hook for basically the whole bag. And then I'm using a five millimeter hook for the ruffles. It's always nice to have a stitch marker, but this is totally optional. Um, you're gonna need a needle and of course scissors to cut off your yarn. So before we get started, let me show you the measurement of the panels first. So the ones that I make, um, they're about nine inches in length and five inches in height so if you want it to be taller then you want to add more rows if you want it to be shorter then just make less rows um, and then for the length the same thing if you want it to be longer then you want to um, add more chains if you want it to be shorter then just make less chains so we're going to start off by making 36 chains and to do that we need to do a slip knot first this is just how I do a slip knot um, I wrap it around my finger like this and then I take off my finger and then I bring this one from the back to the front like so and then I tighten like this and then with slip knots you can tighten it around your hook so bring it your hook through and then tighten like this and then we're gonna start our chains so how you're gonna chain is you're just gonna bring your hook wrap it like this and then grab the yarn and pull it through your slip knot and that's your first chain so now we make 35 more, so two, three, four, five, three, one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, and 36. So you can just count and make sure that you have 36. So you count like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Now we're gonna start crocheting our first row. Basically, what you're gonna do is single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So, one, two, we're gonna single crochet in the second one. And how you single crochet is insert the hook into the chain like this and then it grab yarn pull it through so you have two little loops on your hook and then yarn around hook and then pull it through those two and then we're just gonna do single crochet in every chain 
until you have 35 single crochet. So let me show you how to single crochet again. I'm gonna insert your hook into the chain or the stitch like so. Grab the yarn, pull it through, and then grab the yarn again and pull it through like this. So just single crochet until the end. So now that you're done with all 35 single crochet, you can always count to make sure that you do have 35. Just count the ones that look like braids or like the Vs. Um, you can always um, use a stitch marker. I'm just going to use a stitch marker here to help me keep track of the number of rows that I'm doing. So now that you're done with the first row, we're going to move on to the second row. And basically, you're going to chain one. So chain one. And then turn your project like this. And then single crochet in the stitch. Not this chain, but the stitch. So this is the chain. And then we're going to single crochet in the stitch right here. So... And then just do it for the whole row. So single crochet the whole row. So you should have 35 single crochet in the second row as well. And basically what we're gonna do is continue this chain one, turn your project, and then single crochet until you have 22 rows in total. So let's start. So now that you have 22 rows in total, um, how you can count is just like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 22 rows. And once you get to the end of your 22nd row you're going to do a slip stitch so yarn over and then pull it through and then we can cut and then just pull it tight like this and then you're going to make another one so you have one here so you need two of these and these will be the front and back panels of the bag so now we're gonna make the strap that's going to connect the two sides of the bag and also the bottom so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a chain that's um, as long as the two sides and the bottom and also um, however long you want your strap to be. So let's start making our chains again. So slip knot. And then chain, so yarn over hook, pull through, yarn over hook, pull through, like so. I'll put the amount of chains that I, I made um, on the screen so you guys can follow along. So I end up crocheting um, 163 chains. So that's like a lot, but the reason why I'm making this shop like this is because I want to crochet in some letters on the shop. So that's why if you don't want to crochet in letters um, or like any pictures or anything, 
um, you can do just a few chains, so I guess like um, six and then, or six or seven, and then just single crochet up to the length that fits your bag. That way there's not that many chains and stitches for you to keep track of. So if you're doing it like my way, we're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. So this is the first stitch or the first chain and this is the second chain. So we're going to single crochet in there like this. Okay. And then just keep on going till you get to the end. So now I have finished single crocheting the first row. And now we're going to do the second row. So just like we did with the bag, we're going to chain one and then single crochet in the first stitch. So not in the chain, but the first stitch. And then just do the thing where you chain one and turn for every row until you have six rows in total. So now I've finished single crocheting all six rows. As you can see, I have a really, really long strap and kind of border for your bag. Um, and basically what we're gonna do to finish off is just a slip stitch. So once you've gotten to the end of row six, you're gonna do yarn over and pull the yarn through like that. And then we're going to cut the yarn. like that and then just pull it tight and you're done with this portion of the bag so now we can start assembling so take your panels make sure you know which one you want as a front or as a back and now we're going to sew everything together not necessarily sew but I'm going to single crochet the straps or like the strap and the panels together and how you do that super easy it's just single crocheting things together so usually people would sew it or do um slip stitches but i'm doing single crochet because I want there to be um, stitches that we can make the ruffles on. So make a slip knot. And then See which one is the front. Okay. You want your panel to be in front and then the shop behind. And then it's gonna go in here and here with the slip knot on your hook. And we're gonna do a slip stitch first. You can like hide those ends. Do a slip stitch. And then going back into the same hole that we did the slip stitch, we're gonna make a single crochet. this. Just gonna move this stuff around. 
and then you're gonna go into the next hole it's kind of hard but just look at the loops and then kind of match them together and then single crochet and you're just going to single crochet all around so match up like this and then like this so a single crochet here so that's why for the bottom make sure it's like these stitches that you can see the v's at so it's easier to do this part so match it like that single crochet like this up to here and then we can move on to the back panel i finish single crocheting together the left side and as you can see i kind of left like a longer strap at the top like this because i actually want my shoulder strap to be shorter so i'll just like single crochet it on top of this that way it'll be shorter um so yeah i've done i finished single crocheting the left side and once we get to the corner here what we're going to do is we're going to do three single crochets into that corner loop so one make sure you're still single crocheting the strap and the panel together so this is our second single crochet and then our third so with the corner so over here as well make sure to do a three single crochet and then we can just continue on and um also i recommend that you count how many single crochet you've done on one side so that on the other side right here you can do the same amount and it'll just look nicer and more even Okay, so now I've single crocheted all around and to finish it off, I'm just going to make a slip stitch in the same stitch here. So yarn over and then pull through the loop like that. Then I'm going to yarn over, pull it through. And then we can cut our yarn and pull tight like that. And then after we're done, we can just hide the ends either in here or like in the back like that. Now we are going to attach the other panel. So just match it up and do the same thing that we did. So slip knot. And then just try to match it to the other side. Here. Make sure everything's about the same. And then you're just going to start single crocheting again.
So now I've connected the whole bag so now it actually looks like a bag like you could put stuff in here and it's not gonna fall out so it's a bag now um and what we're gonna do now is sew the strap together so as you can see i want to make my strap shorter so have this part if you suddenly want it to be longer you can always just connect it like that you don't have to overlap them together like this basically what you're gonna do is take some yarn and then we're going to use a needle and we're just gonna sew the strap onto the bag so that it won't fall off your shoulder and then Sew it together. So now I've finished sewing everything, you can just tie it off like that, just cut the ends off. And we can just hide them by poking it in. And the base of our bag is basically finished. So right now we are going to do the ruffles. I'm using brown for the ruffles. Just hoping that this is enough. I feel like it might not be enough, but I'm just hoping. And what we're going to do is make a slip knot. And then tighten it around your hook and insert your hook into the first stitch. And then slip stitch. So slip stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through, and then pull the yarn through again. That was really bad. Let me fix it. So yeah, now we have a slip stitch, chain three, so one, two, three, and this will count as our first double crochet. And how to do double crochet, it's fairly easy. Yarn, so you want to wrap your yarn around the hook like this, and then you're going to insert it into the same stitch where you did the slip stitch and pull the yarn through so now you should have three little loops on your hook and then your yarn over pull through two so now you have two and then pull through two again and then we're going to make two more so, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the stitch, pull the yarn through, let me redo that, it's a bit tight, right here, pull it through, so that you have three loops, and then pull the yarn through two, 
and pull it through two again. So you want to have four double crochet in each stitch around. So right now we have three because remember how um, our chain three was one of the double crochet. So one more. So now onto our second stitch, we're going to make four double crochet again. Just keep making four double crochets into every stitch all around your bag. After you finish with the ruffles, we're going to do a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull it through. And we're just going to cut that. And then pull to tighten. And you can just hide it in the ruffle. Like that. And just repeat the ruffles on the other side. Anyways, this is the end tro, or the outro, sorry. I always say end tro for some reason. Rip. Anyways, this is how my bag turned out. Super cute. And um, remember how like my shot was too long, I ended up making kind of like a little pouch in here. So you could put like pens, crochet hooks, lip gloss, lip balm, concealer, tampons, literally you could put anything that fits in here and it's like a little secret pocket. You can even hide money in there. But yeah, this is how mine turned out. I really love it and I hope my friend likes it too um, but yeah if you guys like this video please give it a like so I know to make more crochet videos and please click the subscribe button if you haven't already um, also leave a comment down below telling me if you made it or not I would love to see your recreations Maybe like tag me on Pinterest or something since I don't have Instagram anymore. Can you even tag on Pinterest? But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.